एवरीवन सो वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल योर डीएवी ट्यूटर दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डीलिंग विद द क्वेश्चंस ऑफ एनुअल एग्जामिनेशन मैथमेटिक्स क्लास सेवन फॉर डीएवी दिस इज द पार्ट वन वीडियो एंड हियर यू विल गेट द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ सेक्शन ए फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सो लेट स्टार्ट सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन से That the sum of two rational number is one is minus five. Okay, and if one of the number is two by three, then find that number. So let's solve it. Let the other number be x. Okay, now we can solve. So according to the question, we have x plus two by three. Is equal to minus five, right? So here you have got an equation. So now we can solve this equation. X is equal to minus five. We know that when LHS moved to RHS, the sign changes. So here it was plus, so now it will be minus. So now we can take a, take it out. You know, if nothing is in the denominator, then it is one, three, and it. If one of the number has a denominator one, then we do cross multiply. So let us two. Okay. So now we have minus fifteen by three and minus two. So here both the signs are of minus. We know minus minus is equal to plus. So the solution will be minus seventeen by three. This is our answer question 1 i hope many of you have done correct so let's move to the next question since it cannot be simplified so this is will be your final answer minus 17 by 3 for question 1 now let us move to second question so this one is very easy here you are given with some numbers it is 1 to the raise to the power 0 Into two raised to the power zero plus three power zero into four power zero plus five power zero into six power zero. We know that any number having power zero is equals to one. So according to this, this can be solved. So one raised to the power zero is equal to one. Into two raised to the power zero is equal to one. Again one, and for all the situations, it will be one. So now we know that one into one is one, one into one is one, one into one is one. So one plus one plus one plus one is equal to three. This will be your final answer for this question. Okay, I hope this will be also correct for everyone. Let us move to the third question. So here it is. What is fifty percent of a number? Whose two hundred percent is twenty. So this is one part, and this is one part. So now we don't know the number. Okay. So let it be x. So two hundred percent is twenty. We have given. So here, we, in the second case, we can make the equation that two hundred percent of x is equals to. 20. So now here we have got an equation that 200% of x is equal to 20. Now by solving this equation, we can take out the value of x, and we have considered x as the number, so x will be the number, and then we can take out the second part. So let's solve it. 200% means by 100 into x is equals to 20. Then we can cut it. So it will be 2x by 20, and x is equals to 10. Okay. So now we have got the number, right? Since we have considered this the number as x, so we have got the value of x. Therefore, we have got the number. So now, if you have got the number, we can solve the second part as well. So 50% of X we need to find since 50% of X we need to find, 
So x we have got now we can find it. 50 upon 100 into 10. Okay, so here you can simplify it as well. 0, 0 cancel, 10, 10 cancel. So your answer is 5. And this is your final answer. So it was also very easy. Just you need to concentrate on the question and the question parts. So let us move to question 4. That is also very easy. Let us check what is it. So we need to find the area of rectangle whose sides are 2A and 3A. So area we know of rectangle, isn't it? Area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth, right? And you have given the side, so consider one as length and consider one as breadth. So if area of rectangle is length into breadth, then sides are 2A and 3B. Sorry, it's 3A. Yes, it is 3A. And you have to multiply it. So we know how to multiply monomial into monomial. 2 into 3 is 6. And here 2A we have. So A into A is nothing but A square. So your final answer is 6A square. Okay, so let's move to question 5. A number when multiplied by 4 exceeds itself by 45. Means here again you are not having with a number. So let's consider the number as x. And according to the question we will solve it. Okay. So when a number multiplied by 4. So we have considered the number as x. So x into 4. It and exceeds itself by 45. Means. When a number is multiplied by 4, it, it is equal to its succession of 45, right? Question says, a number is multiplied by 4, which is equal to 45 when it is added to itself. So, x plus 4 is equal to x plus 45. Again, we have got an equation. We can solve it. 4 into x is 4x. And x plus 4, 45 remain constant. Okay, now you have got an equation, we can solve it. Here no sign means it is plus. So when positive will come LH into LHS, it will be negative. 4x minus x is equal to 45. And 4x minus x is equal to 3x. Because 4x is greater, so the sign will be positive. It's equal to 5x. Now you can take out the value of x easily. 45 by 3 is 15, right? So your final answer is 15. Since you have considered x as your number, you have got the value of x. This is your final answer. Answer is 15. So it was also very easy. Just you need to concentrate on the equation. How you have to form the equation, then you can easily solve any question. So let us see question number 6. Where does the circumcenter of right triangle, right angle triangle lie? So what is circumcenter? The point of concurrence. We know when the two line intersects, it is the point of concurrence. Right? And the question is asking about the circumcenter of right angle. So circumcenter is what? The point of concurrence of the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle is called the circumcenter of the triangle. So here you need to find off right angle triangle. So let me draw a triangle for you all. So according to the question it is right angle triangle. So one angle is right and it is one is hypotenuse. Let it zoom. So this is your right angle triangle and we need to find the circumcenter on it. Let me take a, this as color. So here, this is the bisectors. This is the bisectors. And this is the bisectors. So can you locate the point where it is bisecting? Of course, this. 
this is your point of concurrence means this is what circumcenter of the triangle and we all know that this side of an triangle is known as hypotenuse so did you get the answer it is the midpoint midpoint of hypotenuse so your answer will be midpoint of hypotenuse the circumcenter of the right angle triangle lies on the midpoint of hypotenuse this is also solved now the next which is question number 8 sorry it's 7 yes it is 7 what is the side included between the angle of m and angle of n in triangle m and p so again let us draw a triangle for the for understanding easily let consider its sides m n p this is angle m this is angle n and this is angle p so the question is asking what is the side included between the angle of m and n so this is angle m right this is angle n so side is this and this side is m n right so the answer will be side m n only this much was in the question okay now question number 8 and this will be today's last question i think because in this part you will get the solutions of question 8 and in the next part of the video you will get the rest answers as well so how many equilateral triangles are needed to make a regular hexagon do you know how many sides do a regular hexagon possess it is six so the answer is also six but how you should understand right now let us consider it as one equilateral triangle okay like this you can make a regular hexagon likewise all the sides so this is a regular hexagon and here you can count the sides 1 2 3 4 5 6 and you count the triangles this is also 1 2 3 4 5 6 so your answer is 6 so i hope you must have enjoyed uh, rechecking your answers and i feel till question 8 you all must have scored 8 out of 8 so in the next next part of the video you will get all the questions of section a and in the next part you will get from part b as well so i think you all have got full and share your scores and estimate marks with us thank you very much and stay continued and subscribe dav tutor for next videos for dav class 7 and 8 thank you a very have a nice day and all the best for your further exams